Hello, I'm Shane Van Fleet with Nutrient Ag Solutions, Western Illinois Division. Wanted to talk to you today about a couple products that we've had in the market for some time and had some tremendous success with. But we've launched a new application method for these products and uh, we've been doing some research and collected some data. Wanted to tell you a little bit about the success we've had and what we believe is why we're seeing this success. A couple years ago, we launched into new soil testing of soil biome testing where we're testing our soils to see what hormone production, microbial production, and pathogens are in those soils. What we believe we were seeing was we were seeing elevated levels of nitrogen and our carbon levels were dropping off in those soils, which in turn created a little unhealthy soil environment for our microbial activity and our hormone production by those microbes. We started testing a product called Black Max 22, which is a 22% carbon product, and we've had tremendous success with this in a lot of different applications. Black Max 22 is a 22% carbon product. Carbon is a food source for our microbes and our plants has tremendous water holding capacity. It's been tested and documented that in certain applications and rates and soil types, we see up to five and 10 and sometimes up to 20 times its weight and moisture that this product can hold in furrow. When we can hold moisture in furrow like that and bring water to that furrow, we're gonna bring micronutrients and nutrients with it. The other thing it does is it has tremendous ability to buffer and chelate in the, in the soil. So what it's gonna do is help untie a lot of that ionic charge in that soil and untry, untie nutrients like zinc and copper and iron in them soils and make them available for the roots to uptake. So we started applying this carbon a couple years ago through a surefire system. These are run with tubes that they uh, do a tremendous job of metering that solution. So we took carbon and what we were trying to do was raise our carbon and lower our nitrogen. So we were reducing our nitrogen rates up to 10 and 20% in some cases and raising that carbon level. And what we see is we believe we're now creating a much healthier soil environment for our, our microbes to thrive. And when them microbes thrive, they produce more hormones for the plant. They also decrease pathogens uh, and some negative bacteria, which is helping a lot of nutrient uptake and obviously raising yield in those environments. We were able this year in testing to get down to 0.66 pounds of nitrogen per bushel. And that was on some very good corn. We was 275 in those yield environments on some really good soils. And we got down to 0.66 pounds of nitrogen uh, doing that. We developed our own knife where we put in hydrus in, in the front, and then we're in the back, we have a, another tube with a buffer and an insulation in there so it doesn't affect by the cold nitrogen. And we're dropping a gallon or a half gallon, depending on soil types, right in that furrow right there uh, above that nitrogen application. We also played around and put some extract. Extract's been around a long time and we've used that as a, sto a, a stubble digester to break down our residue from the previous year. Break that back down into plant food and mineralize it and make it for a plant to easily uptake that the following season. So that one two punch of Black Max and extract, two quarts of Black Max, two quarts of extract, we're seeing some tremendous yield results with that. We're seeing better nitrogen utilization with that. Extract's gonna help untie other nutrients in that soil. It has a great ability to mineralize also, just like the Black Max. So we're feeding microbes, we're untying other nutrients, we're lowering nitrogen rates, and we're applying that and seeing some great responses. I wanna talk just a little bit about why we believe we're seeing some of them results. I'm not sure if you can see this, but when we put ammonia in the fall or the spring, it goes into the soil as an, as an ammonium and it's in a positive charge. Well, we know our soils have a negative charge to them. So that makes sense. We're able to bond ammonium to those soils where we can. Now, sometimes in low CEC or sandy soils, we don't have a lot of holding capacity. So the one thing that Black Max 22 offers is humic and fulvic, which have a negative charge. And that creates more parking spots in furrow in that zone to park that nitrogen. So we have a tremendous amount of ability to hold that nitrogen when it goes in furrow. 
The problem being mid-season is our soil or our nitrogen will convert, right? Every year our anhydrous ammonia mid-season converts to a nitrite and then to a nitrate. When it converts, it converts to a negative charge. The problem being our soils are negative and now we have our nitrogen in a negative form. When we get a lot of rain mid-summer or we're in irrigation fields where we're putting on a lot of water, that's when we have the ability to lose nitrogen. If we're not holding it and it can't bind to that soil because it's the same charge as our soil colloids, we will lose some of that nitrogen if we get those heavy rains. Black Max 22 is very, very unique in the marketplace. There's very few products on the marketplace like it. When we make Black Max 22, we make that out of linardite. Linardite has three components to it, fulvic, humic, and human. We are able to save that human component, and that is in Black Max 22. And what's very unique about human is human has a positive and a negative charge, but mostly positive charges. So now in furrow, when our nitrogen converts to a nitrite or a nitrate, in that furrow, we have a positive charge in that soil, in that zone, to now hold on to that nitrogen mid-season until that plant's ready to take it up. The root's always going to win the battle. It has a stronger magnetic pulse. So we don't have to worry about it not being able to be released. So, we're, so we can now hold all three forms of nitrogen and anhydrous ammonia with a product like Black Max 22, which was able to salvage all those we're seeing, again, like I say, better uptake, better nutrient uptake, better potassium uptake. Ammonium has the ability to block potassium uptake. It will take up a lot of those spots on that root, and we don't take up as much potassium early on. As I said, Black Max 22 does a great job of buffering and chelating those nutrients, and we've seen a great increase in potassium uptake where we ran Black Max in furrow with this anhydrous. Uh, we're obviously going to get tremendously better uptake of metals like copper and zinc and iron. We've seen a 2x return on uptake of zinc where we're running a product like Black Max uh, in furrow. So everything together is coming together. What we're seeing is healthier soils. We're seeing better hormone production when we're raising that carbon, lowering that nitrogen. We're seeing pathogens go down, yields go up doing the right things for our soils, and we're really excited about it. We got about 10 of these rigs running around in our division this year that are gonna be applying this. We got a lot of acres lined up. We'd love to talk to you about trying it on your farm. Reach out to your nutrient salesperson, and let's talk about what we're doing here and try it on your farm. Everybody have a safe fall. Thanks for listening. Have a good one. Thanks.